Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. I pulled out the camera, that means the dogs think it's time to eat dinner. So if you hear them in the background, I apologize. But today, I am so excited. Today I'm going to bring you a really great soup recipe. Now, if you're living in an area like we're living in, where the temperatures are going up and then they're going down and then they're getting really wet and then they're going up and then they're going down and they're getting really wet, your body, your sinuses, your world just cannot figure out what is going on. These are the times when I like a soup like this just to take the chill out to make you feel warm and comfortable and cozy. And I am officially back to watching my carb intake. And so I am going to be making some salmon chowder. Yeah, hello, salmon chowder. So I'll link to my canning salmon videos uh, down below so that you can check those out. Every year I can up some salmon. And I am, I want to make sure I have a few years rotation in there. This is my very last, very last jar from 2016. Yeah, check it out. Okay, so that is what? That is, well, technically four years old. It was October of 16. So close enough for government work, okay? So I have one jar of canned salmon. Now, if you don't have Thrive, then you can definitely check it out in the description box below, but you will need the following, okay? You're gonna need about a quarter cup of celery, a quarter cup of onions, and a quarter cup of bell peppers. Um, the recipe that I put on my blog will say green peppers, but honestly, any will do, and the red is what I had open, so the red is what we're using. You also need two quarts of chicken broth, so we've got that a cup of heavy whipping cream, one clove of garlic or the equivalent thereof, a little bit of dill, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a brick of cream cheese. And this is going to rock your world. Now, hang out with me here because even if you're not low carb, I will show you because Phil is not going low carb like I am. Um, and so I will be amping his up just a little bit and I want you to make sure to check that out. So let's this get started. This is going to be just amazing absolutely amazing so and you'll see it's a one pot wonder guys one pot wonder okay so i'm adding my salt my pepper and my dill um you can use ground dill or you can use dill seed seriously it's a matter of preference whatever you want to do i'm using my thrive life celery and peppers and onions so i'm just going to do a quarter cup oh and if you wanted to see let me show you okay so this is the celery that's what it looks like and it's kind of spongy. It definitely crumbles up really easy. Um, it will not refresh to be crunchy. Keep your expectations reasonable and we'll get along really well. <laughs> okay, so we're just basically putting it in there for flavor. That's what the celery is for. You are not going to smear peanut butter on those bad boys. Not going to happen. Next, we're going to add in some red bell peppers because that's what I have. So just a quarter cup. Don't need much. And then we're going to put in a quarter cup of onions. So whether it's freeze dried. Now, if it's freeze dried with the onions, you want to go less than what you would for a whole onion. Use a whole, you know, use a, use a quarter cup ish of whole onions, but just use an eighth of a cup or two tablespoons for your freeze dried onions um, or even your dehydrated. You want to go a little less where that's concerned. Okay. Now I'm going to turn down my heat because as you can tell, she's a boiling. So what's going to happen in here? Well, those wonderful veggies are going to rehydrate and it's going to make your house smell amazing. Simply amazing. Now we're also going to take the garlic. So I'm just using minced garlic. Basically you need the equivalent of uh, one garlic clove. So you can mince it yourself or you can just buy minced garlic. Six of one, half dozen the other, doesn't matter. Okay, so now it's time for the cream cheese. So that, that is up there and it's boiling up really nice. And so now I'm opening up the cream cheese and we are going to get that out. I've let it kind of sit at room temperature, I don't know, for about 30 minutes, um, just to make it a little easier. But with the heat in that pot, not an ounce of difference. Now your typical chowder, um, what's the difference between soup and a chowder? Well. Soup and a chowder, the difference to me is, number one, the creaminess. Um, number two is the presence of corn or, you know, other starchy vegetables like that. 
I'm not doing that because I want to be sure to keep an eye on my carb intake. So for me, this cream cheese here is going to add to it and make it the chowder that I need it to be, okay? So now, while it's doing its thing, you know I'm a fan of my immersion blender, right? And that'll just whip that up. And if it grinds down the veggies, so be it. If you wanted to, you could always, you know, add this cheese first and then, but it doesn't matter. Okay. And now we also need, uh, how much did I need? I need a, a cup of heavy whipping cream. And the, between the cup of heavy whipping cream and the cream cheese, this is going to thicken up be beautifully. Cream cheese, to me, is the thickener answer to all things low-carbon keto. And see, you can still see the veggies. No annihilation of vegetables happening here. So this pot of soup makes about eight cups. Eight cups. So you can do your math and figure out how much you need to do, if you need less, if you need more. But for a whole pint of salmon, this is what we're doing. So that's still cooking. And now we're going to get the salmon out of the jar. Drain the liquid. Okay, we're going to use the, look at that. Lisa's spoon. It's all mine. Okay. My friend Darcy got that for me. So now you drain the liquid and then you just get the salmon out of there and you mix it up in the pot. This is coho salmon because that's what I can get my hands on here in the Great Lakes State. Okay, and what are you going to do with that jar right away, right? You're going to go put it in the sink. Might as well rinse off my spoon. You're going to put it in the sink and fill it with water because that makes it much easier to clean later on. Okay. But now I have my spoon. Look at that. And you guys, poof, dinner is served. Seriously, that's it. So now I'm gonna scoop out a bowl for me, but now I'm gonna show you ha, how I'm gonna up my game for Phil. Now, while it's still cooking, <clears throat> I'm pulling out my Thrive Life diced onions. And, or diced onions, thank you, diced potatoes. And I'm going to add in, you know, a couple handfuls. We're real particular about the measurements here. But we're going to add those in. Those are going to refresh really quick with this boiling hot water. And then he has a chunkier, thicker um, chowder. We don't really do corn. It's really good, but we don't do corn. And, uh... There's, you know, it's just not carb friendly. It's not diabetic friendly. <clears throat> but, okay, so this is ready for Phil. So now I'm going to get Phil's bowl dished up, and then I'll show you the topping. So there we have our two bowls of chowder. Yummy goodness. Mine's in the front here, potato-less. Phil's has the potato. And to top it off, we're going to put some cheddar cheese in there, some shredded cheddar cheese. Yeah. Okay. Because cheese is a good thing. Yes, it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go find Mr. Sutton. I found him. Do a taste test. Okay. So now Phil's going to give it a try. He's going to see how it is. It's hot. And the suspense is killing us. Good. It's good. It's good. Do you see the eyebrows, you guys? It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, Phil is a cracker lover, so he's going to have a little soup with his crackers. Oh, yeah, he went back in for a second spoon, so it must be good. It's good. Okay. So now we are going to go have dinner. Can you bring that back here, please, for a second? Um, because I need to take a picture of his yummy, delicious soup. Okay. And there's my soup, and there's his soup. So the really cool part about Thrive, you guys, is that you can do those things where... You add it just for a person or two if you're making different menus. But this is our salmon chowder from our home canned pantry. 
Love it. There's more to do with your home canned salmon than salmon patties. Yes, sirree, Bob. Okay, remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to leave a comment to be entered in the drawing. And until next time, everybody, be safe.